Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to introduce functions. Oh, hold on a second. We're going to introduce functions uh, through an example. So, uh, in my experience, the best way to learn about functions with programming language is just by doing a couple of examples. Um, so here's one. In a previous video, uh, we found out how to calculate the uh, mode, uh, and it required two steps. You know. Um, that is to say, um, we had our kind of vector or matrix and we want, that we wanted to find the mode of, and we had to do these two little separate calculations in order to get R to spit out what the mode was. In this one, what we're going to do is create a function, and so all you have to do is call that function, uh, and it will spit out the mode for you. So let's start off here with the function that we did for the mode before. I'll link in the description that uh, the, the mode video. But what we found is, so if you start off with a, a little vector like this, so we're calling this x is assigned, and then the vector of these values. So there's 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, all the way up to 9. So clearly 2 is going to be the mode of this guy. So x is this vector. When you run this little code here, what you do is you find it spits out the mode. And if there's multiple modes, it'll spit out multiple modes and list them all there. So how do we create a function? Or I guess... First off, what is a function? What am I saying by function? Well, remember summary statistics, uh, like the basic stuff, like if you wanted to find the mean of something, you would do mean and then in parentheses, x. So that's a function for the mean. All those little summary statistics and things that you've probably been using and taking for granted for a while have been functions that do a simple operation. Um, so mean, summary, load CSV, all those functions are functions. Um, what functions do is they could save you lots of time, and if done well, it'll make your code or what you're doing or showing to other people much more clear, uh, uh, clear to read and easy to understand. Yep, so how does it do the mode? First off, it calls this vector x, or uh, actually it could take a matrix x. Um, the first thing it does, uh, once it takes the vector x, it creates this little temporary table, this table I call temp. And it's a table with two rows and as many columns as there are unique values inside the vector or matrix. The next thing here is names temp. And what this does is it goes to the names of temp, which is the first row. It's the names is like the header of the first row. Uh, and for each instance where the value down here is the highest of all of them, it says return the name. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 all have one instance inside the vector x, so they'll have one listed them, and you can see the value 2 has 3 listed, and so it has a count of 3 there. So names is just revealing this top value, the name value, the header value, such that uh, the count below is the maximum. So if there were multiple modes, then there would be multiple maxes, um, and it would reveal multiple modes down here. Okay, so how do we turn that into a function? First off, we need a function name. A uh, function name should be fairly descriptive, so I'm going to call this stat mode for statistical mode. Um, mode itself is already taken. It reveals like the type of data something is. So like mode. Um, is a character, because it's a string here. Mode of 1 is going to be numeric, because it's a number. So uh, mode's already taken. Statistical mode is going to be my function, because that's what we're creating. Uh, input variable. This To find the mode, we only need one input variable, uh, just our matrix or vector here. Inside here, we just need the function that we're doing. So I'm going to put that in. Make it look nice. Remember, we called the input variable x, so we need to double check that it's correctly put in here. Um, so first off, uh, let's take a look at another function called mean. So when you type in mean without anything afterwards, press enter. It says it's a function. It gives you a little bit of information, not too much. Um, for stat mean, remember we haven't created it yet. So sorry, stat mode we haven't created it yet. So it says error. Stat mode has, cannot be found. So let's run this code this code to create a new function called stat mode. So I selected it all, and now I'm pressing run. 
no error messages, give a strong indication that I didn't do anything in syntactically incorrect. So enter, great. So now it's a function, we know it's a function, uh, and it does the following operation. Awesome. So if we call stat mode, oops, underscore mode, and we're going to do the operation on the vector x that we created here. So I line, oops, sorry, I've got to select everything. Run that line, it reveals the mode. So let's tweak our little x variable again. Sorry, our little x vector again. Let's call it, you know, data. And let's give another mode, 9, 9. So now in this vector, there's going to be two modes, 2 and 9. The mode is the thing that has the most occurrences. So when I run this, Great, we have a new variable called data, and it's that vector. So when we do stat mode data, it should spit out the two modes, two and nine. The other thing we could do is just like with mean data, you could create a variable and assign that variable name to the mean of data. Then when we press enter, it spits out the mean data. You could do the same thing for this new function we created for mode. So let's call it mode, mode data is assigned to stat mode, the new function. So now when we do mode data, we get our two modes. And then you could apply this function to loaded data. So uh, in previous videos, I've been working with this data. So uh, load it from the CSV file. It's going to take a second. Great, there's the data. So structure of data. So let's use our new function on these, uh, these biometric data. So let's load it. Uh, I called this file data. Dollar sign. So let's find it for sleep. So when we run this line, reveals the mode for sleep is seven hours of sleep. We can do the same thing for, let's do education. The mode for education is 12 years of education, high school education. You can apply it to whatever data you have. Uh, hopefully this is like a nice simple introduction, uh, give you a clean, clear sense of what, of how you can kind of use functions uh, for your own purposes. It makes things much easier. Um, or potentially makes things much easier. Uh, if you have any questions, send me a message, and hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks, bye.